In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to compare two fractions to see which one is greater in value. So let's compare 5 over 8 and 3 over 4. Which one is greater? A simple technique that you could use is cross multiplying. 5 times 4 is 20 and 3 times 8 is 24. Now which number is greater? Is it 20 or 24? 24 is greater than 20, so we could say that 5 over 8 is less than 3 fourths, or 3 fourths is greater than 5 over 8. So because this number is larger, this fraction on the right is greater than the one on the left. So 3 over 4 is greater than 5 over 8. Now to confirm it, you can convert each fraction into a decimal. You can do this using long division, or you can use your calculator. If you type in 5 divided by 8 into your calculator, you should get 0.625. And if you type in 3 divided by 4, it should give you 0.75. So 0.75 is greater than 0.625. So this means that 3 over 4 is greater than 5 over 8. Now for the sake of practice, let's try another example. So 5 over 6 and 7 over 8. Which one is greater? So let's cross multiply. 5 times 8 is 40. 7 times 6 is 42. 42 is greater than 40. So the fraction on the right is greater than the one on the left. So we could say that 7 over 8 is greater than 5 over 6. And now let's confirm the result using a calculator. So 5 divided by 6 as a decimal is 0.833. 7 divided by 8 as the decimal is 0.875. So clearly 0.875 is greater than 0.833. So 7 over 8 is the fraction with the greater value. Let's try another problem. 3 over 4 and 2 over 3. Which fraction is greater in value? So you can try this problem if you want to, for the sake of practice. Let's see if you got it. So let's cross multiply. 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 2 is 8. So we know that 9 is greater than 8, which means that 3 over 4 is greater than 2 over 3. Now we know 3 over 4, if you convert that into a decimal, that's going to be 0.75. 2 over 3, if you type that in, that's 0.6 repeated. And so 0.75 is greater than 0.6 repeated, which means that this is a true statement. 3 over 4 is a fraction greater in value than 2 over 3. And so this is a simple technique that you could use to see which fraction is greater. By the way, if you want more videos on fractions, like let's say put in fractions on the number line, equivalent fractions, and things like that, you could check out my playlist on fractions or check the links in the description of this video. So I'm going to post some links to some uh, other videos on fractions in case you might be interested in those topics. So feel free to take a look at that. And now let's work on one more example. 5 over 7 and 7 over 10. So go ahead and take a minute, pause the video, and determine which of these two fractions is greater in value. So let's begin with cross multiplication. 5 times 10 is 50, and 7 times 7 is 49. So we know that 50 is greater than 49, which means 5 over 7 is the fraction that has the greater value. So we could say that 5 over 7 is greater than 7 over 10. Now let's type in 5 divided by 7 into the calculator. And so that's going to be about 0.714 if you round it. And 7 divided by 10 is 0.7. So that's another way you can confirm which fraction is larger in value. Now if for some reason you don't have access to a calculator, you can use long division to determine the decimal value of 5 over 7. So 7 goes into 5 zero times. 
so we need to add a decimal point. 7 goes into 50 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49, so 7 times 0.7 is 4.9. Now we need to bring down a 1. 7 goes into 10 one time. 7 times 1 is 7, and the difference between these two numbers is 3. So if we bring down another 0, 7 goes into 30 four times. 7 times 4 is 28. And then if we bring down another 0, 7 goes into 20 two times. So we could stop here, and then you could say that 5 over 7 is approximately 0.714. And so you could use long division to find a decimal value of a fraction, and then you could compare the two fractions if needed.